So as you look over the world stage, folks, in North America, it's just like we are far from God. That is the current evaluation of things. We are very, very far from God. Um, there should be more signs and, ones happen signs and wonders happening. God's name should be talked about and reported in all the major media outlets of North America. Okay? Because God is the most exciting person in the universe by a factor of infinity. Okay? If he is not being reported on by force, by no choice, by all the major media outlets in North America, by massive word of mouth spreading on what, all the channels that exist, internet, you name it, then we are simply far from God. We have simply missed partnership with him in, in, the, in the large populace of us. We simply have missed him. We are far from him. We are chasing other things we don't believe. Um, we don't ask God for bigger things. We don't pray. We don't chase God, okay? Um, people, people are thinking too small. They're chasing other things. They're, they're thinking about their house, their mortgage, their money. Their, it's insane. Okay, we all know that all the mortgage money is fake. We all know it's zero reserve lending. It's all fake digital inflated currency, and that's why it's so insane. It's all based on corrupt banking. We know that. Okay, I'm, I'm here to talk about the acts of God that everyone desires. Okay, of any walk of life, including money lenders. It's like we want to see God. I'm tired of all this. Quite frankly, I'm tired of seeing Benny Hinn's services has mir have miracles galore happening in them. Why is that not happening in our churches? Why is North America so dumbed down? What is going on? Like, why, why is there so little glory? Why is God not being talked about? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, folks, let's just be honest. If there were if there was an overwhelming amount of exciting things that God was doing, okay, amongst the North American populace, he would be the center of conversation from sea to shining sea. Everyone from the prime minister to the president down to every single person on every street corner would be talking about God, saying, have you seen what's happening? Have you heard of this? Have you seen this happening? Clearly, that is not the current condition. People are talking about anything and everything except God. That's a tragedy. That's what you call a tragedy. You're like, God wants to be worshipped. Now, uh, at some point, I guess you can conclude that, like, okay, if people don't want God, then that's their choice for that life. And then you just cry out yourself saying, okay, God, I want you. I want your miracles and your power and your blessings and your glory and your favor in my life and, and all that we can do together. Can we please do that? And I want satisfaction with the Lord and ideally I wish that for every single human being on planet Earth and absolutely North America from sea to shining sea should be talking about God day and night. You know, the, the leadership of at any level up the chain, whether it's political, church should be like, this is what I feel God is saying. And people should be like, yes, that is what he's saying. God talks every single day. And um, I tell you, I just, non-Christianity doesn't have it for you. I'm like, a shopping mall doesn't have it for you. Um, little, little chintzy things don't have it for you. Um, you want to see the glory of God. You want to see the power of God. Um, you want to hear God's personal voice every single day. You want to be happy like you've never been happy before. Did you know that God has power to make you feel higher and better, naturally healthy, than you've ever been in your entire life? He can do that for you. God has power to do anything that you can dream of. That's the reality that I'm coming to. God has the ability and the power to surpass every single dream that you can dream well call upon him call upon him ask him for it ask him and the bible says you you know the bible says you must persist you must continue to ask okay and um i'm almost done here i can feel it but i i just wanted to report port a video record a video like in the history books like the year 2019 and folks in a large way it is it's pretty disappointing what people are thinking about and what people are talking about in North America at large in general like very few people are talking about God 
and or thinking about God, wanting to partner with themselves that much. And I pray that that changes. I really do, okay? Um, because you doing stuff in your own strength is pathetic. You know, we've gone from the prophetic to the pathetic in many ways. Um, but you and an entire company, you know, an entire group of people doing stuff in their own strength, even if it involves large machines and large amounts of technology. It's, now I love, absolutely, okay? I, I love all the gifts that God has given to us in terms of tech and all that stuff. And we know that, you know, God is sovereign over, um, you know, developments that he uses for his glory and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, gospel first. But you're like, you just know, God has the power to do things that non-Christians cannot do. And God has the power to do things that a whole bunch of people can't do. I'm just saying, why is God not being talked about? Why is God not being talked about in our country? What is the problem? And the problem is simple. All the people who are doing the talking are far from God. There. I think that's, that's sort of the, 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 play, the, the comment I was trying to get to. Why, why, are, why, is no, why is hardly anyone in North America talking about God that much? It's because all the people who are doing the talking are far from God. All right. Well, let's seek the Lord today. Okay. Try and hear his personal voice. Okay. Walk with him. Okay. Um, pray for the world. Okay. You've got to get it out. I mean, there's, there's so many things that you can pray against, that you can preach against. Um, I believe God has a big turnaround. Okay. Coming for North America. Okay. Um, God wants everyone to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and then he wants everyone to be in a personal relationship with him every single day that is completely satisfying for you, that you say from your soul of souls every day, I am satisfied with the life that I have in God. And that is the truth. That is the actual truth, okay? That... Um, you know, we really are. Cool. And then you, you really do want to see um, great things happen in your country, though. Like, I want to see every evil obliterated. Like, there is so much stuff that you can just tell. You can just tell stuff that can be torn down, okay? And, um... All right. Well, God help us to achieve that. God do his work like in our lives and in this continent. Because um it's obvious that more needs to happen. Like we have not united together as one entire continent, North America, like Canada, the USA, and Mexico declaring that Jesus Christ is God and that he has set all of us free. That has not happened yet, is what I'm saying. And it needs to happen. Hospitals need to get cleared out in Jesus' name. Sick people need to get healed in Jesus' name. Prime ministers and presidents need to get educated in the Bible and in all the glories of Gematria in Jesus' name. Leaders of any and every sort in any position need to repent and call upon God in Jesus' name. Every human being from sea to shining sea needs to practice a silent prayer life where they get silent and wait for the personal God to speak to them personally in their head. And you will know that it's him speaking because he will make you know. And okay, we need a massive revival in personal silent prayer time. That is the answer to every human being's course of life. You start giving God a generous silent prayer life and like generous in your time, the time that you give to God in silent waiting on him prayer. And you will be amazed at how your 
personal individual life changes for the better over the course of weeks okay and into ultimately an entire lifetime you will be amazed and if every human being does that the whole country will eventually be amazed at how big our changes have been um, I, I really do want to see North America be like the happiest, most God-pleasing continent in the world. And we have the ability to be tremendously generous, like God is, to uh, third world countries, okay? Um, with, with the gospel first and uh, resources also, you know, whatever it is. But um, it's about the greatest commandment, okay? Uh, ultimately, it's about God's pleasure, okay? God wants to do unique things with you, okay, that he doesn't want to do with the next person. You are special. Uh, God wants to do things with you personally that he doesn't want to do with me personally. It's that cool, okay? God will say different things to me than you this morning um, because of just that's his, cre it's all about his creative, it's all about his, like, it's so cool. Like, God's creativity is maximum, like, there has to be billions of us down here that are all preciously unique and different. In order, it's all it's all for God. Don't forget that God is impressing trillions of angels in all of this right now. In fact, the Bible says that we are lower than the angels. The angels existed first, and God is impressing trillions of angels day and night with all of his creative works on planet Earth, okay? And um, so... I have a passion to hear God's personal voice like crazy all the time, all day long. And I pray that passion comes to every single human being on earth now and forever. Okay? Because, think of it folks, if every single human being could hear and obey the personal voice of God accurately all day long, every day, whoa, would we be stinking happy? And would we be stinking healthy? And there would there be massive miracles and signs and wonders and divine providences and divine materialization of, of things desired like the prophets did and like Jesus did? He's like, guys, you need food here in the wilderness? Here it is. Snap. Like, what do you need? Snap. Here it is right in front of you. Like, oh yeah, you, you talk about an exciting lifestyle and you talk about an exciting story of your life and you talk about exciting life to live. You talk about materializing free food out of nowhere just because God is with you. That's interesting. That's highly interesting to me. And you talk about gold coins and fish's mouths in order to pay your bills. That's interesting to me. That's highly interesting to me. I could go on. The sky's the limit for God. So it's like, you know, you have to want it. You have to desire God. Okay, as the Bible says, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. Start thinking about him, he'll, you know. But it's just like, I'm a dreamer. You have to be. You cannot think about God and then think about what is possible for him to do on planet Earth with the billions of people down here. And so, and at the same time, obviously, the coolest prayer you can pray is like, God, what do you want to do with all of us down here? Like, what is your dream for 2019 for the human race? Can you please let me in on it? Can you please tell me, God, what your dream is for planet Earth this year, today, you know? in the next five years like what is your dream god what do you what do you want to do what are you going to do and how can i be right at the center of it with whoever else wants to be in the middle of it and and be totally satisfied in in our infinite souls that yes we have experienced everything that our souls ever dreamed of experiencing on this earth now before heaven I want to, like, I, I want to be so overwhelmed by what God does in me, through me, for me, in front of me, because of me, behind me, around me, just out there, like, in every single person that I've seen, heal, whatever, that, that I honestly say in my soul, the all-powerful, all-infinite God has truly surpassed 
every dream or expectation I could have ever imagined for him to achieve in my life, in my city, in this country, on this planet. Like it is, it is, it has surpassed it by a massive factor. And all the days of darkness and poverty of 2019 and in the past were just like, oh, that was death. Like that was like tragic. That was like impoverishedville. Like that was like poverty Canada, man. That was like poverty North America. Like that was gross. It was like undesirable. It was ungratifying. It was like just plain poverty compared to what God has given us. Like, and then the, the whole planet, like, man, we were in the dark ages and man, there was rampant disunity everywhere and no one knew of the Christ and it was just bad. And you're just like, I want that to be gone. And I want, I want God to gratify my expectations for massive change for the better to happen on this planet. Okay. So I confess it, I pray it, and I am hoping for it. 